In this video today, we are looking at the 4MS Stereo Triggered Sampler. Actually, it's the openness and ungovernable. And the All right, so the 4MS Stereo Triggered Sampler is really two parts. Uh, you can play samples with it, and you can also record with it, which is really cool as well. For this video, I'm going to focus on the play because that is an entire thing in itself, and the record is a whole nother separate function um, that honestly you, you can use or not use, and you'll still get a ton of joy out of this module. So looking at this really quickly, it looks like a lot, but it's actually really simple. So basically you have two stereo channels here, or you can use them individually as mono. So if I hold down these two up here, it's going to put it in stereo mode. But to be honest, I mostly use this in mono, although I do know some people that will actually record performances into this, and then they'll play it back during a live set or something as they're trying to switch between songs. So they're playing a modular thing live. So I know people that use it for that use case, but in most cases I'm using this in a, as a mono source um, and think it's just super powerful because you can get two different samples going at the same time. All right, so let me just go through the channels here. Again, what is in black? Don't worry about that. In this video, this is the record. And let me look at the left channel here right now. So what we have here is basically pitch control on our samples. We have choosing a sample, so you get it from one to 10 slots here. You have a start position of your sample, the length of your sample, and then a reverse switch. And again, all of this is controlled from CV. So you've got your output, you have your volt per octave, which controls your pitch. You've got a play, so you send a gate signal to this and it's going to play the sample. Or if I hold this down and it turns blue, then I'm actually in looping mode on the sample, which you can do some really cool granular stuff with that, with that which I'll demonstrate. And then we've got an end out. So this is at the end of a sample. Um, basically, it'll send a gate. And what I find is really cool is if you just take a little patch and you put that into your next one, which is reverse, then the sample alternate reverses playing forwards and backwards, which gives you a really cool effect. Next one you have here is length CV. So you're just controlling CV over this. You've got your start position CV and then your sample CV to choose different samples. Uh, up here, you also have a play button. If you just click the button once, you're going to play the sample. And then this here is your bank selection. And so uh, we're going to rotate through a bunch of colors, but you notice how it's flashing once white. That means we're in the white one bank, basically. Um, and so you can scroll through this and you'll see a bunch of different colors. That's green two. This is, uh, looks like cyan one, one, two. So cyan two, and you basically kind of, kind of rotate through these, but you get a bunch of different banks in here. And so uh, you have a little SD card right here on the front. So it's really easy to kind of swap samples in and out. You basically put them um, in folders of up to 10 samples. And I think it just goes in terms of the like alphabetical order of the samples. So you can just numerically number your samples as well. Uh, but basically, yeah, you can just make a bunch of banks and it's really easy to switch through these banks and kind of get to different samples. So let me click through here and find my white again. Now, before I dive through and demonstrate those, what I just want to share is that literally um, it is over here. It is the exact same thing. Pitch, sample, start position, length, reverse, and all of the same CV control. So it's just two samplers basically side by side unless you're using it in a stereo mode and unless you're using the record function. So it's really simple there. So... Let me go ahead and dive in and show you some of the play functions of this sampler. All right, so to start, I'm just going to patch my output here. And again, if I hit pitch, play. There's something about sound that articulates the openness and ungovernability of experience. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit play again, and we'll mess with some of these parameters. There's something about a really amazing pitch control. You can get so slow. The openness and ungovernability. You can go either way on that pitch, which is really cool and just gives you a lot of fun stuff modulating that. So we'll dive into that example in a bit. So again, we can change the start position. So let's just make the start position at a, about a third of the way through the sample. Articulates the openness. Articulates the open. Articulates the open. That, artic that articulates the open. Something about sound that ungovernabil ungovernability of experience. So again, you can just see how you can change the start position here. I'll show you some really cool use cases for that here in a bit as well. And then the length is the last one here, so it's just going to let us, uh, let's just kind of make our start position start in the middle. And that are, and that are, and that articulates the so, openness and. As you can hear, I'm just changing and making it a little longer. That articulates the openness and ungovernability. So again, you can change the start in and out and then reverse. <laughs> so pretty wild there. Uh, so we can do some really fun stuff with that. So. Uh, let me go ahead and um, start kind of messing some CV with this. All right, so to start, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to, instead of playing it There's by hitting this button, 
I'm going to trigger it off of a clock source something here. about sound that articulates the openness and ungovernability. There's so you see that my clock source on my pan is triggering that right here. And ungovernability. There's something about sound that Next, articulates I've got the openness here a basically uh, kind of a random voltage coming through. There's something about sound that articulates the so openness let me show you on my pans. of experience. There's something about sound that articulates We've the openness and ungovernability We've got basically a ungovernability triangle wave experience. kind of attenuated There's something there. about sound but that articulates and the openness and slowing that voice up. ungovernability of experience. There's something about sound that articulates the openness and ungovernability. There's something about sound that articulates the openness and no. ungovernability. <laughs> really about cool sound effects you can kind of do with that, that one there. Articulates the openness now the third, I've got a random voltage, and I'm going to go ahead and random select a different sample. So this is going to take, openness and out of these 10 samples, it's going to just select randomly a different sample. Thought the moment you observe it. What happens? So you'll see that you'll just kind of start hearing random different it. samples chosen you over and over. Certainly numbers. don't need silence. You can be right next to a constraint. So what happens? Really, really cool effects there. So I'm going to turn that one down, and now I want to show you kind of some uh, some granular on the other side here. So um, let me go ahead and plug my output into my right side here, and let me play the sample here for you raw. So. This is our raw sample here. Got this, this pretty cool vibe thing going on. Um, but now let me start to kind of mess with this and show you some of the cool things we can do with that. So um, first of all, what I'll show you is just if you put this on looping mode and then you start to mess with your length. You can get you can kind of basically create different textures and then you can actually rotate as I rotate through my start point. So you see, because there's multiple notes in this, you can kind of just rotate through and do some really cool stuff there. So uh, let me now just go ahead and modulate the start position with that length. So this is randomly modulating that start position. So, getting a really, really cool sound there. Now we're going to take that end out. We're going to reverse it. Now you get this pulse thing going. That's some weird kind of hits in there, but, you know, that's just this particular sample. And so, again, you can kind of mess around with that and get some pretty cool stuff. And now I've actually got the whole thing in reverse and forward. And the other thing I can do is I can start to uh, modulate the length of the CV. So I've just got another kind of uh, wave going on this. As so you can just hear that length of the sample get a little longer and then shorter again. And so again, just giving you some really cool sounds. Whatever you're comfortable. There's something about sound that articulates the openness. Just combine these two little funky things together. And the moment you discover you're lost in thought, because the that reverse is a bit much. Simply to see and hear and feel. And the moment you discover you're lost in thought, you certainly don't need silence. You can be right next to a constraint. There's something about sound. That articulates the openness and so really simple, really cool. You've got two different sample players. You can do some um, re repetition, which you can do really cool granular stuff with. You can randomly choose samples. Um, I mean, there's just a ton of opportunities and possibilities with this thing. So I uh, really love it. I use it a lot. I've got a ton of different samples. You do have to take kind of invest the time with a sampler to actually getting some good samples. So you know, I've got a splice subscription and then basically organized, loaded those into folders. Another thing that's really useful with this is if you actually get some samples, um, I found that if I organize my samples by BPM, that was super helpful in making this a lot more useful as well, because I'll basically just do a lot of my songs at either 90 or, or like 120 um, or 110 BPMs. And now I just have folders and I kind of have a key on my phone where I just screenshotted my folder structure. 
and uh, it lets me kind of really make this thing really useful and just put some kind of um, musical samples into this. So really useful functions. Uh, love just what you can do with the pitch control. We just kind of scratched the surface on this thing today, but uh, really powerful module, really easy to use. We'll do another video later on to dive into all the record functions. But um, yeah, I hope you guys get a ton out of this and uh, highly recommend the 4MS Stereo Triggered Sampler. And until next time, follow the rabbit.